Oliver just has that temperament to be just an awesome therapy dog. I've never seen a dog that is just chill with you like this though. It's like a cat kind of. It's so great for us just to have such a like a reassuring presence. Somebody who's always ready to be here and always shows up. He's just the most sweetest, docile, wants to please. So cute. If you take all of the good and all the dogs that I've ever had, <laughs> that's what his temperament is. Yeah, he's real relaxing. You know, it's just very calming to be able to pet an animal and um, have such a calm animal be a lifting spirit while their hospital stay is, is happening. Oliver just steals the show no matter where I go, so I'm affectionately known as Oliver's mom. This one has been through a lot of viruses, deaths, problems, wars. We are going to come out just fine and we are going to have and make beautiful music. Holding hundreds of years of history in his hands, this instructor does the only thing he knows to do. What would happen if I didn't have air to breathe? <laughs> Pretty much same thing. Jelko Pavlovich started playing music as a baby in Bosnia. Pretty much if you're born into a Pavlovich family, you're given an instrument in the hospital and that's it. <laughs> no choice, right? <laughs> yeah, and by the time you're able to uh, figure it out, you're already playing. <laughs> he laughs now, but it wasn't easy for Jelko or his family as war took away their freedom and safety. So when he made it to America back in 1998 and began performing around the world, Jelko made a promise to always give back to others. Today, that means free online masterclasses for anybody interested. Just listen to what Alex Macial has been working on. Everybody's a little bit stressed out, but you just gotta move forward. Everyone has been very uh, appreciative of the efforts that parents do while they work. Um, and then everyone accepts very naturally. More than 450 families have signed up for the master classes. And starting today, Jelko will also be giving away 50 free instruments to anybody who needs them. It is heartbreaking to know that they don't know where their next paycheck is going to come from, and they don't know what's going to happen once this crisis is is hopefully over. This is a very strange time. We have tremendous hurricanes that come and, and beat us pretty bad in this region. Granted, this is not the same kind of thing as Harvey. This one is the unknown. So we're here at Hugo's, uh, it's one of our participating restaurant partners for an initiative that we've started uh, called Houston Shift Meal. We are here passing out shift meals for all of our industry, out of work industry workers. From hotel workers to bar workers to servers. Back of the house dishwasher line cooks, anybody who's working in the hospitality industry who has been affected by this crisis, we are welcoming to come and be part of our initiative and come and get a free meal. I've been laid off from my job and uh, it is getting kind of tough to kind of figure out where my next meal is going to come from. So we're using this as an opportunity to uh, have give them one less thing to think about. This is really helpful. It's really good to see some restaurants taking care of their own, especially in this time like this. What we're basically doing is that um, any restaurant that's partnering up with us and they, we're asking them to provide 50 to 75 shift meals per participation day, and we are going to sponsor them $250 to cover their costs. I cannot wait for us to be on the other side and and, and allow us to do, and my other uh, co-workers and friends uh, to do what we love to do, and it does just cook. If we come together, even though apart, <laughs> uh, we can actually like still take care of each other. This is what many doctor's offices look like today. Empty lobbies and exam rooms. So what do you do when you know it's not an emergency, but you still really need to talk to a doctor? Folks still need to get a refill on their blood pressure medicine, or they still need to talk about their diabetes, or all those sorts of things that they would normally do. Just like reporters are doing virtual interviews nowadays, Nearly all Memorial Hermann doctors are now able to treat patients virtually. Let's say you had high blood pressure and you messaged me through the patient portal. And I said, hey, increase your blood pressure medicines. And then I want you to take your blood pressure twice a day for two weeks. And in two weeks, I want you to email me those blood pressures back and tell me how you feel. In the past week, Memorial Hermann doctors have seen 2,600 patients through video or phone. Every day, more than 150 people are calling the emergency room for virtual pre-screenings. But it's important to remember, 
virtual visits will never replace all visits. My goodness, if you're having trouble breathing or you haven't been able to keep food down and you feel dehydrated or, you know, those things where you go, something is just not right. Uh, you still really want to go in and see your provider. So if you're sitting at home and one of these ends up on your front doorstep, don't be alarmed. It came from Valenson's Brewing Company in Pearland, and it's part of their way to not only get their beer out there, but also to boost the morale. Uh, one of the crazy things that we decided to do is to do some um, ding-dong ditching. At the end of the day, it was kind of fun to be able to go out and pick some of the people in the community, and, you know, they have a, a cold growler of Valenson's beer on their porch, so... This is uh, definitely a, a unique time for all breweries uh, across the country. We're not able to have our guests come into the brew house and they're doing tap room sales to go. Uh, we had to come up with some other different method on what, what we think is going to be able to keep the morale up. So, you know, we're using social media. I have a lot of people that ask questions about uh, home brewing, you know, and I will uh, communicate those through Facebook, social media. So the, the community has been great. They keep they continue to come out and support us. So we're just trying to do what we can to help the community and just to keep the morale up. So coming up at six, you'll hear from Val on some of the challenges he's facing as a small brewery owner, including just how hard it's become to find growlers like this one. In Pearland, I'm Chaz Miller, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. <music> This is the mommy, this is the big sister, this is the big sister, this is the baby. I paint my window because I want to make people happy. I paint a flower and I paint a little rainbow thing and my sister put a bee on. With the COVID-19 crisis that's happening, I think it's really truthfully affecting everybody. Our family is like all over the states and in the UK. Our family was doing a FaceTime and my sister-in-law told us about really what's happening over in the UK and she just shared this story with our girls that when they go out for their walks that the children had painted their windows and essentially turned the town into this little art gallery. We told our friends to paint their windows so they can help us spread joy. We've been cooped up in the house so I decided to be cool mom and let my children paint the window. <laughs> Truthfully, I think it's affecting everybody. Our families probably experience it a little different than others because my husband works in the healthcare system, so he's obviously been working extremely long hours. And so my children are aware of it because of just conversations that we have at home. I know about the virus because my daddy told me. We can look on the bright side of everything. There's always something beautiful to be found, even in really, really dark times. And that's what I hope that they, these small little projects will do for my children is teach them that when we're scared, we can still find something beautiful in the world. Help us spread joy and paint your windows. If it were a normal year, Special Olympics athletes around our state would be getting ready for the summer games. But the games and all qualifying competitions are canceled this year. So I figured I could use a little bit of help today telling this story. I wonder if you remember Warren Dumphy Miller. He's one of my very favorite interviews of all time. And he's a Special Olympics swimmer. Let's give him a call. Leave it to Warren to have the coolest background ever. He's already had plenty of experience with my microphone, so we'll let him do the interviews today. I have to stay home. It's really boring. I hear you there. I mean, seriously, just mm, you're testing up for sure. In fact, that so many Special Olympic events got canceled because of it. So it's my heart. It's okay. That die from this. So. Warren and his friends are worried for their friends and family but they also really miss practices and competitions. How long have you been practicing for the competition, Anna? I well, we practice all year. The whole thing is Special Olympics because I get to spend time with people that are like me, with disabilities. I was looking forward to taking part in those tournaments that we trained worked so hard for. It. Yeah, I feel the same. I was like socializing with friends. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know, there's only one way to end an interview like this with a virtual hug. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that counts, right? That's good enough for now. <laughs> If you would have told us we were manufacturing face shields and medical PPE um, 30 days ago, we would have thought you were crazy. Uh, about 10 days ago, we came up with a concept of, hey, possibly we can produce a, a face shield. We'd heard about the PPE shortage. Within a day, we had a prototype. We began to post via social media that we had these masks available, and immediately we started getting orders, starting with dentists. And then that bled into hospitals and first responders. We uh, we were able to make uh, about 500 masks a day. Within a couple of days, we had that capacity up to 1,000. Since then, we have partnered actually with another company in the Beaumont area that was looking to lay off most of their force because of this downturn. And we were able to employ all of uh, their employees. So uh, very shortly, within a day or two, we'll be up to 20,000 masks a day. State of Texas was first to the table, cut an order you know, for 50,000 masks right away. But when we began to talk to hospitals who, you know, some of the administrative officials that I was talking to were actually in tears saying, we have no PPE, it really hit home. I shared that with all of our crew that, hey, there's a lot of fear out there and a need for this. I've been dealing with my breast cancer diagnosis since January and started chemotherapy right away with um, MD Anderson. Due to the coronavirus, they have unfortunately not allowed any visitors to come along to any appointments. You know, Bert wanted to be there for me, even though he couldn't be in the room. So he decided to drive up and park outside the window of my treatment room. And he had a sign made up so that um, he could share the support that he was giving me. I didn't know where in the parking lot I'd be, so I thought I'd had to have a sign so that she could see where I was at if I could get her attention. I just got lucky and happened to be outside of her room. I just had so much love for him in that moment to know that he would do whatever it took to stand by my side through everything. And uh, it was very emotional. Like, my nurse was in my room when I happened to see him, and we both teared up. And um, I could hear all the other nurses. They started gathering at all the windows in the building so that they could see. It's hard to explain because you don't know what a cancer person is going through, even, even as a spouse. So the only thing you can do is support them. I was just proud that I had a husband like that in my corner. I, I spoke to somebody at MD Anderson and she said, well, we hope that this will encourage people to come up with creative ideas to support their families through the hard times. So hopefully that's what this does.